有瓦斯哎、欸一台呢正在往下掉，地震速报已经到紧张，整个地震感受的确是比较明显的，包括摄影棚都已经有灯架开始在倒下来了，因为摇晃的时间相当长，从刚刚。里面有没有人？赶快离开！
Metagenics calms menopause intensity with Estrovera, a once daily plant-based supplement clinically proven to cool hot flashes, night sweats, and 10 other symptoms. No hormones, no drugs, just lasting relief. Finally, bring your whole body back into balance. Naturally, Metagenics, the science that creates balance. When you walk into a drugstore, we have two choices, the deodorant aisle for pits and the mortification lane of feminine hygiene. And then my gynecologist told me about Lumi. It's a whole body deodorant for pits, feet, and privates that controls odor anywhere and everywhere on your body. Since Lumi, I never have to worry about body odor ever again, anywhere on my body. And that reassurance is worth every penny. Go to lumideo.com to learn more.不确定有些东西是百分之百安全值
一叫什么大楼？嗯，一叫什么大楼？好严重的地震哦！这柱子柱子裂开，石头掉下来嘞。Okay, y'all. How are y'all doing? <laughs> this is so weird. I've not ever done a live like that before, but I wanted to share that. Um, I'm trying to pull up this article to update. How are y'all doing this morning? So here's the update that was just released. Let me share it. Uh, let's see. I was actually getting myself ready to go out the door. Let me see if y'all can see that. Yeah, y'all can. Okay, they're saying that nine are dead in Taiwan's strongest earthquake in 25 years. 50 are missing. April 3rd, okay. This was updated an hour ago. I'm not going to butcher these names. Holly Ann, something like that. Taiwan, April 3rd, Taiwan's biggest earthquake in at least 25 years, killed nine people on Wednesday, injuring more than 900, while 50 hotel workers were missing en route to a national park. 
Authorities said as rescuers use ladders to bring others to safety. So, of course, there are missing. Television broadcast images of buildings um, tilted at precarious angles in the mountainous, sparsely populated Eastern County. Why can't I see this? Near the epicenter of the 7.2 magnitude quake, uh, which struck just offshore at about 8 a.m. GMT time. Someone says it was very strong. It felt as if the house was going to topple. A woman who runs bed and breakfast um, in the city said that she scrambled to calm her guests who were frightened by the quake. I can only imagine. I've never been through an earthquake. Hope I never do. Um, this is the biggest earthquake I've ever experienced at one woman. Seven point four. That earlier it said seven point two, and that's according to the United States Geological Survey. It was the strongest to hit the island in about twenty five years. This is a chart right here that shows uh, the quake hit this area within one hundred kilometers here. It also hit these areas over here. Magnitude 8, East Rift Valley earthquakes. That was in 1951, 1999. They had one. That was a magnitude 8 as well. Oh, my son is, is bothering me today. My daughter even has a low grade temp. Um, and it's probably the pollen because it's thick. Let's see, the quake hit a depth of 15.5 kilometers, 9.6 miles, just as people were headed for work and school, setting off a tsunami warning. And that was for Japan and Philippines. That was later lifted. Video shows rescuers using ladders to help uh, trap people out of windows, while elsewhere there were massive landslides. Strong tremors in Taipei forced the subway system to close briefly. Almost, well, although most lines resumed their services, fire authorities said that they had already evacuated some 70 people trapped in tunnels. See, it's something about me and going underground. I don't think that would mix for me. But anyway, um, they had lost contact with 50 workers aboard four minibuses headed to a hotel in a national park. Another 80 people are trapped in a mining area. They said, though, it was not immediately clear if they were inside a mine. Okay. The government put the number of injured at 946. I'm pretty sure it's more than that because, like I said, there are people that are unaccounted for at this point. Uh, the rail link in the area is suspected to reopen on Thursday in La LA. Look at that building. That's insane. Taiwan's Air Force said uh, F-16 fighter jets had been slightly damaged at a major base in the city from which jets are often scrambled to see um, off incursions by China's Air Force. But the Air Force, the aircraft are expected to return to service very soon. You know, they got to say that because of the situation at hand with China. Um, oh, there's a fly in here. Uh, fly trying to make his debut. So I just wanted to come on and 
show you guys that. I'm pretty sure y'all already knew about it. But hey, I didn't know about it. So maybe some of y'all didn't either. So um, who knows? Who knows? Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Thank y'all for coming in. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Clear Gray. China wants Taiwan as, as theirs. Taiwan has not been a part of China. That's what this whole conflict is right now. Well, one of the conflicts. Y'all know we got a bunch of conflicts that's happening out here that the United States is involved in. But that's not for this live. Hey, Susan. Y'all sorry, I sound so rough. Hey, Pam. This is in Taiwan. Hey, sweeper girl. It's still snowing. And, ooh, girl. Ooh. Hey, Deidre. Good morning. I was actually headed out because I got to go to the trash dump. I have to. I was going to do some store walkthrough videos in some different areas I haven't been in in a while. And now I'm here doing a live. So it may be too. Hey, Mary Victorious. Hey, Mary. Hey, girl. That's my sister, y'all. I didn't know you was in here. You must be on your break. Thank you. That's my sister, my real sister. Um, hey, Leanna. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning, Belinda Miller. Belinda, you can to me. That's my maiden name, Miller. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you, Jen. Tawanda, thank you. Good morning. So I will be back today. It may be alive. It may not be. I'm not sure. Um, but definitely any breaking news that happened, I will go live with that if I'm at home and can go live with it right then in that moment. So I'm going to go while the puppy is asleep and while my child can keep an eye on her because she's a busy buddy. Thank y'all for coming in. Hit the like button before you leave out. Share out this video, any of my videos. And if you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. As you know, I lost a lot of subscribers and I know, I know my family. I know who's in here. You know what I'm saying? But um, YouTube will go and do their sweep and they will take out anybody they think is a bot. Um, and then sometimes people just don't like what you do and they unsubscribe. But I'm still going to continue to do what I can do to grow this channel, um, share my homesteading. Once I start back gardening, which I hope to be getting things in the garden next week because um, we still have some 30s coming this week. Even though it's been like 79 yesterday, we still got 30s as our lows um, for the remainder of this week. So it's like maybe that's why my daughter don't feel good right now because the temperatures, one minute is this and one minute is that. So y'all stay safe. Keep prepping. Y'all see the um, state of emergency that was issued in Alabama uh, yesterday due to all the severe storms out there. Um, you don't know where it's going to hit. So I know I get a lot of people saying, well, if I done stocked up all this stuff and what if it hit my house, then what? Well, outside of your stuff that you stocked up, Let's just pray you're still living and you can pick up the pieces and move forward. But it's better to be prepared, not need it, than need it and not be prepared for it. So get your water, your medications and things like that. Get your shelf stable food and 
just stay safe. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Ah. Uh -huh.